We come together for a moment out of time in a place made holy by our presence to celebrate what is deepest and most true, to honor the beauty of our own heart's longing. Come, come, whoever you are, wanderer, worshiper, lover of leaving. Welcome to this online spiritual community. Welcome global seekers, welcome people who come every week, welcome those who have just stumbled in and aren't quite sure what you've come to. Father's Day isn't a one-size-fits-all kind of holiday, or even, I'd argue, a one-size-fits-most. It can take on many forms depending on the father-child relationship involved, and these relationships are built on a complex interplay of memory and reality. Our gathered community is the chalice, the bowl which holds our spirits together, however distant our bodies may be. It seems kind of fitting to me that I'm talking about risk and security on Father's Day, since it's my father that taught me the most that I know about taking risks and being secure. Hi, I'm Michael Tino. This year, as I'm preparing for my first Father's Day as a dad, let me bring you back for a moment to last year. It was Monday, June 24th. My husband Eric and I had been fathers for less than three days. Sleep, my child, and peace attend thee all through the night. A Father's Day Prayer by Kirk Lodeman Copeland. Let us praise those fathers who have striven to balance the demands of work, marriage, and children with an honest awareness of both joy and sacrifice. And now we come to that time in our service when we extinguish those chalices that we've lit to mark this time together. One, two, three. 